Who do you all think is the most boring champion in League? Or like the most boring jungler? So if you look at this tier list, if you look at all these 50 jungle champions, which one do you dislike watching the most? The number one pick where if I lock it in, you're just going to close the stream. I see a lot of Maokai mentions. So many people are saying brands. That's okay. I'm seeing a lot of Sejuani's, I agree. If I, if I, I had to drop a personal mention, I would probably add Uryu, but Uryu is not mentioned too much. So we have Cashew and Siri. Should we do a poll for what champion I'm playing? So which champions here are mentioned a lot? Echo is mentioned a lot. I'm just going to choose some of the champions that I mentioned a few times on, the, on this request. Kindred is ahead. It's going to be Kindred or Echo? It's Echo. Where's Echo? Oh no, now it's Kindred! No, but... No! I messed up, guys. It's on me. Should have done the poll earlier. We were doing so many polls, I was running out of time. It's so close. 33% Kindred, 32% Echo. For God's sake. Well, here you are, here you are. <laughs> I hope... I hope the Kindred enjoyers can deal with this. I'm so sorry. I've let you down, forgive me. I have sinned. I was, I was hesitating, like I was considering to, to stall it out just another 1-2 seconds, which actually would have changed the outcome. But I probably wouldn't have made it in time. Like I actually... <laughs> I would have been too late. I also haven't played Echo at all this rank season. I saw it in yesterday, actually yesterday in chat a lot of people were discussing whether or not the curling captain is an Echo player and whether I can play this champion. I was about to say I'm an Echo Giga chat, but instead of doing that I'm just gonna tell you that the footage here the upcoming game is going to speak for itself. We'll find out. Time will tell. I have played a decent amount of Echo in the past. Pretty much any jungle champion I've played at least 30, 40, 50 plus games. There's a bunch that I played a couple thousand too, but I don't know. I, have, I, I probably have like, I don't know how many, 100, 200 Echo games, hard to say. Last famous words before running it down. Watch me equip those movie boots. Equip the marathon shoes and just sprint one way or the other. If I get invaded randomly this game, I'm gonna be really sad. I don't want to get cheesed again. I just want to be able to play in peace. Just finish my, my first clear without something completely crazy and random and annoying and frustrating happening. Doubt we're gonna be able to do anything level three. Echo does have really strong level three ganks, but it's fine. It's all good. Echo. Uh, did I say Echo? Echo. <laughs> Echo. <clears throat> there we go. Um, it's happy to just get level four as well. We might be able to look from bot side of mid once I have level four. Do we have any Echo professionals in the chat? What do you build on this champion nowadays? I'm assuming it's a rocket build rush angle. Rocket build into Lich Bane perhaps, full Giga Chat, full damage, full burst. Wait, that... Ain't no way we're dying to this, right? My top lane actually walked back, I'm so impressed. I'm so proud of him. Rocket build Lich Bane, Lich Bane first? Lich pain, trust me, I'm in high low, gold free. God damn, that was, we got a game right here. I mean, I'm mostly so I think if I get really fit, I can see the Lich pain working. But if not, I'm probably gonna need the help from Rocket Belt. At least that's what I imagine, because otherwise I'll just give one shot every fight. It's okay, not too bad. Good start. If I played that better, or if I had just smited blue and made it there earlier, we probably would have gotten a bonus kill. 
I was considering the dive bot, but that would be completely and utterly crazy and I shouldn't go for it. Okay, everybody's saying Lich Bane. It sounds really... I'm sure this Janna's parents are really proud of her. Disgusting human being. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. How am I? That was really mean. Goddamn Janna players, dude. I should become a support main and just lock in Janna every game and wander around, bringing nothing other than pain and torture upon every single human being that ever enters Summoner's Rift. For God's sake, man. Imagine playing Janna. I swear. Janna players are the same kind of people as like... It's, it's the support equivalent of Shaco players. It's pretty much shit. Not in, not exactly... Oh, are they in the Yumi category? No, it's not as bad, is it? I mean, I don't know. I would prefer playing against the Yumi now. Yumi is useless at the moment. Why are you attacking me like that? Okay. Wu is the most annoying champion in the game. Who do you hate playing against the most? Like the number one most disgusting champion of all time that makes you want to puke whenever it's locked in by the enemy team. If you cannot say Yumi, we're gonna exclude Yumi, because otherwise every single one is saying Yumi. I see a lot of Shago mentions. Everybody typing Shago is an absolute giga chat. I respect it. You have good taste. A lot of Trindamere mentions. Shago, Ramos, Pantheon, Tom Kench. Hmm, makes the opinions interesting. Oh, can we do something here? Dude! Are you kidding me? I wasn't moving! I wanted Rek'Sai to walk into me. Like, the thing is, if Rek'Sai is near you, and you don't move at all, the Sonar doesn't see you. But what does it matter I don't get spotted by the Sonar if Diana walks up to me and presses W on me? Like, are you kidding? This Janna is so <laughs> disgusting. Dude, I thought we were fighting, but Jace just didn't want to help me at all. I walked in for the W and he just left. Yeah, we're not on the same page, my friends. I mean, not only are we not on the same page, it's like, I'm sitting here reading a goddamn action book, while Jace is reading, I don't freaking know, a comedy, anime? Like, we're, we're on a, just not on different pages. We're, we're reading entire different books, dude. Like, come on, bro, get back here on the, on the same section as I'm in. Oh, well. He had no mana? What do you mean he had no mana? He queued forward the moment I died. I'm not saying I made a perfect play. It was a risk. You know what the issue is? This happened last game, too. Like, do you remember what happened when we saw the replay and we saw how I died, but... Why do I do this? What is wrong with my brain? Maybe my brain is just too small for solo queue. I keep doing these things where... If we play well, and if we're on the same page, we're gonna get a fantastic play. A potentially game-winning play. But if it goes wrong, it's a giga throw. It keeps going wrong. And it's like... Me playing solo queue at the moment is basically like taking your head and goddamn slamming it with full force into a brick wall repeatedly, each and every day, expecting a different result. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to stop making these mistakes. I need to step it up. An ally has been slain. This Janna is doing some work. She's been part of all their five kills. <laughs> She's actually <laughs> 1v9. What a beast. Okay, top is kind of doomed. Jungle is even, mid is slightly winning for us, bot lane is slightly winning as well. Janna is mid, we need Sona to follow. Sona is not gonna follow guys. Well done by Cashew, what a beast. I really wish our support was more proactive, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like me wanting my support to, to participate is naturally going to make them play more aggressive. We just got to let her do her thing and hope that we can deal with the roams. We have Lich Bane. Big damage incoming. HUGE damage!
Yeah, that's not good. Can I kill him? Is this a bad risk to take? There's no flash, no ult. Sit down, son. Enjoy your gray screen. Very nice. There's a long time with Drake. I'll clear some camps now. We need to make sure we maintain our jungle lead. That was strange. Oh, we're randomly winning now. No complaints from here. Solo queue is crazy. All of a sudden, the enemy mid laner is just sitting there AFK, waiting for someone to kill her. That's the beauty of solo queue. It's always going to be a clown fiesta. You're just going to mentally prepare and enjoy the ride. Ain't no way. Oh, I like the the very moment Rexai flashed on me. I just got my E and Q up, and I could have killed her. That was unfortunate timing. Well, at least before I died, I got to full clear my jungle, so it's not all bad. Jack still has no flash. It's up same time as Chase. Uh, that ult was terrible. I couldn't see where my silhouette was. I was just trying to see if I could judge where on earth I would land if I ulted. And we're done. My bad. If I ulted better, we would kill at least one more person. Real P. It's a base soon. We'll move to bot so we can get the dragon. Stacking dragons is very OP. I have a lot of gold, but I'm worried that they might continue fighting. If enemy team starts Drake, I can herald mid. I actually will just herald mid. Theory is coming slowly, we just need to buy time. Game over. Mid turret is low because it got hit by Herald, so we can crack that. Place around at 15. Can the curling captain play Echo? Not to an extent. It wasn't clean, but we got the job done. Our mid laner was pretty solid this game, I would say. Fast honor for her, and we go next. Let's just open the replay quickly. Watch the two deaths. Death one. Let's see, was this actually a good play or was it terrible by me? So Ari is out. She has no flash, no ult, no mana or health. So this is the moment where I need to judge if I just jump out. I do have E off so I can just jump out or we can commit to the fight. Jack has no flash and ult. Janna is level 3 with no flash. Rex has level 5 with no flash. Sona's moving, has flash, I have flash. Jesus, no flash. I was pretty sure we'd, we would win this 3v3. But I guess Sona continues to chase. And Jace is really far away. It's just look at this W. Like this is what I saw in game. It looks really juicy. I should have placed it a little bit further down I guess. Because now it was too easy for Jax and Janet to walk out. I think it's free. If they are closer. 
because Sona could be like right here, Jace could be like basically where I am. So if we're on the same page and if we're closer, Rek'Sai is going to get one shot before he comes out of the stun. And then they can turn on Jax and Janna. And we're gonna, probably going to get free for one. Like, we're going to kill all of them. They might kill me. There's also a chance that I can just flash out if we're grouped. But you can see here, like, Jace doesn't want to go in at all. He keeps hesitating. And then Sona is a little bit too late. So even though I buy some time, it's like... You know, we just don't get anything. And Jace ends up dying too. So tough. I don't think what I did was bad. The hesitation kind of ruined our moment. And Well, should we just see? So before the play, we're up 1.5k. After the play, we're only up 300. I die again here. This was greed. This was greedy because I have no idea where Rexa is. I just saw Jinx moving here. I knew I'm way stronger when he won. I knew that Janna, Ari, and Jax couldn't be here. So I'm kind of gambling on the jungle being nowhere near. If Rexa is not here, Jinx is dead. If Rexa appears, then I die. I'm so close to having my Q&E up. Like, E is up in a bit under two seconds, like probably like close to one, Q is up now, but I just can't do anything. The worst part is she had no flash as well, and I do have mine, but I also had no time to ult, I just got deleted. Hesitation is defeat, and the first fight, hesitation definitely was defeat, but it's also one of those things where, yeah, it's just a judgment call. And I keep dying, making the wrong judgment calls because people are hesitating and we're not on the same page. Do you think climbing is heavily RNG based? There's always going to be some RNG involved. I mean, there's a lot of unknown factors, random factors out of, out of your control. But if you play really, really well, and if you consistently put in a good performance, you should be climbing over time. It's not like I have a bad win rate either. My win rate is still pretty decent. I've won like 56% of my games over... Well, 300 plus games, which, I mean, I would like to, to bring back my 60%, but still winning more than I lose on average. I just need to, to get a win streak. Like, once you win streak and I'm challenger, that's legit all it takes. But we're going to be really AP heavy, I guess. Wait, he went from Kragas to Klet. I'm going to play Talia. I like Talia. It's a champion I think I should be playing more. We have a pretty good setup for our combo with... With Twisted Fate, with Blitzcrank. Maybe I should bring back champ request soon, by the way. Maybe that's what we need. We could try after this game. I'll pop the bot early. We're gonna have a lot of kill threat and Lulu Kogma with Blitzcrank. Generally, Talia is pretty weak early on. We need level 7. So we have 4 points in our Q. Then we start dealing a lot of damage and we can just spam Q like there's no tomorrow. Definitely be kiting this a little bit better, but whatever. While I did mess up slightly, I just want to make sure I don't lose too much time. Just try to be efficient. I'll put two points in my Q. I don't need W, it doesn't do anything for my clear, and I need to just full play anyways. Like I said, scaling champ. The sooner we get levels, the better.
That is looking pretty aggro. I wonder if we can kill. One gold card is one grey screen for her. Yep. Told you. Her jump also wasn't up. She used it just before. And it's a very long cooldown. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, bro. Oh, I guess I'm just legit blind. So depressing. We actually outplayed them so hard mid jungle just to get butt gapped. That's the way it goes. If I had paid more attention, I could at least have died without flashing. already doing them. That's why I didn't hit anything. The butt gap continues. Hopefully we can carry her from the other side. They are really doomed down there. There's a brand. We have Tearfold. If Tearfold he's dead. We're not Tearfolding. Oh, he's holding top. This TF is quite a name, by the way. A felony for abuse, what on earth? I see there's a longer discussion in chat that somehow started about why Twisted Tree Line was removed. Back when the game mode was removed, Riot gave us the reasoning that the player base was too small and it was pretty difficult to balance so they didn't want to put in time and resources to, to balance an extra game mode. And then they removed it and we were left with just Howling Abyss and Summoner's Rift and that's pretty much it. It is a little bit sad though because they also said that they weren't going to prioritize random game modes as much and now they keep creating new game modes instead of just bringing back Twisted Tree Line and Dominion, who in my humble opinion are the greatest random game modes ever created. I mean, Twisted Tree Line was even part of the original league. I legit had only played one single game of Summoner's Rift by the time I hit level 30. I rarely ever played anything else. I don't know. Maybe one day they'll bring it back. Even if just for a week. It would be amazing. Pretty strong now. We need to try to make plays with TF as much as possible. If we play as a duo, we should be able to go big. Fucked up my W a bit. W is in a really bad direction. Rip. I think this is a little bit pointless, but I don't have anything better to do anyways. I'm looking forward to the next patch, where Void Crops are being buffed. It's gonna be a good time. Like, they're gonna buff them, so they're more valuable, and they're gonna change the spawn timer, so they don't always come up same time as Dragon. It's gonna be a cool and welcome change. Does he live? Yep. He healed up with Triumph. Not even close. The wolves are up. Oh, Brand is here. You in heaven, son. I'll just get this and run. Camilla's gonna move here from base, wanting to kill me. Even Tristana might move. Okay, we're getting pretty strong. Time to shine. Drake is up in 30. Brand is playing both sides. I have way better items than him, and I'm two levels up. I think I'm just doomed. Let's see. Yeah, there's no counterplay. 
Fuck, Brand was still sitting in this bush. And then the problem is, I wanted to flash into the pit and then ult out, but then I got flanked by Tristana. So there was no escape. Why don't your trinket wards? Swabbing to sweeper is usually better after first or second base. It brings more value overall. You have a staying. He has ult. This is not worth it. Your team has destroyed a turret. Oh, wait. I was about to say we're not going to be able to do anything when they're sitting on a turret and then... We have a hook. Still in cooldown, I guess. That works. Beautiful. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Or well, maybe not. Ha! <laughs> We're smurfing on him. Brand is gonna be here soon. At least if he walks here directly from base. 600 for Shadow Flame, that's a mega power spike. Just gonna keep farming. There's still two minutes on Drake, that's the important objective that we have to be ready for so they don't get soul anytime soon. Just gonna keep farming. As you can see my clear speed is not really balanced so if I farm efficiently I'm gonna be so far ahead of Brand. I'm already three levels and 60 CS up, it's crazy. Oh, I just missed the cannon. You gotta be kidding me. You have zero magic assist. I'm a little bit squishy, so I, I have to be a bit careful about my positioning, but one combo on anybody and they're gone on the spot. Close. She actually dealt a lot more damage than I expected. Got Drake now. I'm a little bit low in the health department, but it should be fine. Wait, that's out of range? Barely know it's a Leah main. Nine point seven CS per minute. Let's get it up to ten. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with the team. I can base soon enough. We should try to get a rift herald. It's timing out soon. Baron spawns. Oh, good thing I stayed. Deleted son. <laughs> okay. Top, I can herald. If we even need to herald, it's probably free, anyways. Huh? Maybe I messed up my W. I'm so confused. I'll herald now. I do need to base eventually, I have so much gold. This is really chaotic. 
I have ult, but if I ult in, I'll probably just die. Juked. Well, she's gonna die eventually. There we go. Okay, I'll clear this and walls and then I build a base finally. They still are not buying magic assist. They just could consider just rushing Rabadon at this point. Stonia, Crypt Loom, Rabadon. I think that's my best options. We can get Crypt Loom next and then I'll show you how to make the health pass disappear. Again, if they had just a little bit of magic resist, I would have gotten Crypt Bloom right away, but if they don't want to build it, then this is fantastic. Not exactly sure how we are not stomping them, but whatever. Kinda of waiting for him to knock up. Oh yeah, I guess that didn't matter, I just want you to. I just need to press my buttons and people disappear. I can push out one bot wave and then move the dragon. 42 infernal cinders now. I have so much ability haste. I have 25 ability haste from Ludens, the rest of it comes from cinders. That's actually insane. Can we end my cat? What did you type? Where did it go? Wait, you guys see that? The chat just disappeared. He wrote like, can we end my cat is on fire or something, but I guess that was a very illegal message. What? My chat is gone. I'm very confused. What the fuck? What happened? Is there like a key binding that removes everything in chat? If so, I didn't know before now. No, no, wait. I'll do Crocs. And base. If you scroll up, you can see it. I'm scrolling, dude. Like, I cannot scroll. Oh, shit. He just added like a thousand lines. I've never seen anyone do this in my entire life. Can we end? My cat is on fire. I gotta water him. What? And then he does that. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> he got me. He got me real good. I've never seen that in my entire life. What the f <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Well... We're 5 levels and 130 CS up on enemy jungler. I think we've been farming enough. Let's end the game. Oh. Lulu brought Mikkel's blessing. Smart. Should brand when he spawned. Kill him. Nope. GG. Dalia looks a little bit OP. What the most damage? I sound a little bit more than me. I guess I spent too much time farming. Let's look at gold earned. 5k more than the enemy jungler. Akshan also had 6k more than Camille. What a legend. What a legend.